Hello and welcome. It is the 11th of December. I'm Mark. I'm Eric. And today we're going to be reviewing the Fox and Bark Draft Style Root Beer. So, a bit about this brand. It was founded by an Italian immigrant in 1922. And the slogan is all hyphen ways in good taste. So, always in good taste, but it's spelled a bit unconventionally. So. Yeah, folks, it's a little play on words right there. I guess they kind of, whoever in the company, the marketing team or whoever who came up with that slogan kind of made it so you can enjoy this root beer anytime, anywhere. Um, so maybe that will bold well for what we're trying to do here today. Hopefully that's a good sign of good things to come. Um, as Mark said, in Connecticut, it was established in East Haven, Connecticut, this uh, particular brand, actually named after the street, the founder. The founder's actual name is or was, Matteo Nacquario. Um, Fox and Park was the street he uh, lived on once he moved to America, established Fox and Park Beverage Company. Um, it's a cool historical story. It's still owned by the family, descendants of the founder to this day. Um, as you know, Mark and I appreciate the regional style root beers. However, it's also cool to see that it's kind of grown and get, garnered a, kind of a national acclaim, um, been in the national spotlight, it's been featured on the Food Network. And it also can be found in restaurants and stores um, from across the country in every uh, which direction. So that's a pretty neat backstory uh, uh, that we're uh, hopefully going to see reflected in the taste. So uh, let's get to this pour. Um, or you got anything else? Oh. Something noteworthy to mention is the for, for each 8 ounces, there's only 23 grams of sugar and just 85 calories. So very uh, much on a small and compared to what we've uh, tasted in the past. Yeah, so not definitely a lot, not bitter, bitter's not the word, but a lot less sweet. So as you guys know, I'm not big into the sugar. I don't like root beers trying to be like something they're not. So hopefully that'll blow well for the taste. I guess we'll see. All right, let's see if we unscrew that. Okay, I was a little worried. Mark and I just finished a spirited game of ping pong. Um, so I thought my hand would be too sweaty where I wouldn't be able to open it, but we got it done. All right, let's check out this poor folks. Little carbonation, okay. Maybe that'll even help mark out the smell. Hmm. Folks, I'm smelling like a little bit of licorice. Even like a little bit of like a fruity smell. It's licorice fruit? It's probably, some brands are made with it probably. Ah, maybe that's the root. The root in the root beer, licorice. Debatably a fruit, who knows? You guys probably know. I don't. What do you got, kid? Smells like a root beer, and it doesn't. It does smell sweet compared to what the nutrition fact says. So. I do like a root beer smell. So we'll we'll see how this taste is. I guess we'll uh, get to it. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Wow, folks. I got, got to say, that's really, really good. Um, as Mark kind of touched upon, not sweet at all, at least I think. Um, first thing that hits me is the root beer taste, which is, you know, huge to me. It's not masked by any artificial, super sweet nonsense. It's just straight into the point, good, smooth root beer. What do you think? Contrary to what Eric said, I think this does actually have a lot of sweetness to it. Oh, yeah? So, I like that, but it also has that root beer taste. So huh. it's a good combination, so that works well, so I like this. Hmm. Again, I guess that's kind of like a different view, but we both agree on it. It's got that firm root beer taste, and that's the most important thing to us at the end of the day. Pardon me for that swerve. That was an aggressive <laughs> swerve. You got a score? Mine's definitely going to be... Um, on the higher ends compared to what, uh, compared to the previous days, I'm going to go 7.7 .7 because the, wow. the sweetness, the root beer flavor, it all just blends together really well and it just creates a perfect, I was just going to say perfect, don't want to, you know, like knock all the, knock all the future brands we're going to be having, but doesn't, um, it tastes very good. And I like this Fox and Park. 
All right, folks, I'm going to do them one better. It's not 11-11, make a wish. Today's 12-11, and my wish came true. Even though you're not supposed to disclose if you ever made a wish. My wish for a good root beer came true. Folks, I really think this is right up there with um, Hank's Genuine. Genuine Hank's. Genuine Hank's. Genuine Hank's Genuine Philadelphia Style Root Beer um, from a few, from about a week ago, I guess. I think I gave that one an 8.5. Very bold. Also a very good root beer. I like that one for kind of different reasons. It was more of like a thicker, um, bolder taste, kind of like a root beer float, except like in a root beer form, without like the ice cream even. This one, as I kind of touched upon, much more straight and to the point, but I'm a man of basic taste also, so I like it for different reasons, but it's going to be up there score-wise right along with the uh, Genuine Hanks. One last sip, let me see. Very, very smooth. Folks, I'm going to give it a 8.3. So again, right up there with uh, Genuine Hanks. Right there. Very, very, very good. I agree. It was a very good and surprising root beer today. We'll take that. More of that to come. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Knock on wood. Did I hear your uh, thoughts? Um, shout out to my school district. We had a three hour delay today, so I got to sleep a bit extra longer, and Eric had to go to work at a regular time. Sorry, right, folks, we're still getting paid. Real world, what are you going to do? But, but, emphasis on the but, an even more important shout out. Shout out. Shout out's coming, oh, though, shout out. from the new ace of the New York baseball Yankees as the clock struck midnight last night. The pumpkin, the carriage, excuse me, didn't turn into the pumpkin. But the empire came back. The Yankees, the evil empire, dominating the offseason, signing Garrett Cole for the next nine years. A lot of money, don't get me wrong. There's always risk involved with a contract that big. But he's now our bona fide number one starter. Let's get number 28. Go Yanks. Go these root beers. Go Mark, go Eric, go, Eric. go you, we'll see you tomorrow.